All right, this is Daryl as if talking with Pratik, and Pratik is uh, responsible for mobile, the mobile app for yep. Microsoft Teams. Yeah. Yep. So Pratik's going to show us uh, a few things that are, are now available on uh, on the app, and um, yeah, just take it away. So uh, the basic app, everyone knows the activity feed, and you can ha see all your chats here. You have all your teams here. Uh, one of the new things, relatively new things that we launched a couple of months ago was the Meetings tab, where mm -hmm. you can see all of your meetings. And uh, what I'm going to demo right now is uh, joining one of the new meetings. It's yeah, syncing, so we'll give it a while to sync. In the meanwhile, um, on the Calls tab, this is a new feature that, we're, that is in beta right now. It's not released yet, it'll release in the coming weeks. Uh, uh, soon and uh, what we have is you can see all of your missed calls and you can call people back but the cool new thing is PSTN calling so you can actually really just dial any number and make a phone call um, now that's only going to be available to organizations that are using PSTN in the cloud yes yeah. so you need to be enabled enterprise voice enabled uh, to see that and you can also just search through your device contacts so literally search through any of the device contacts, not just your organization directory, and make a call to anyone you want there. Um, so let's see if the meetings has synced. Yeah, there it is. So th I've got a podcast meeting at uh, just to demo the pod demo the meeting scenario. Let's join the meeting and see if it connects. There it is. Amai is on the meeting and uh, he's sharing some content that should show up soon. Amai, do you have some um, other uh, content that is uh, uh, DLM or something. Yeah, I'm showing uh, desktop. Desktop. So maybe that's why the desktop is not showing up. Um, oh, there it is. We can We've see got it. it now. So Amai just shared his desktop, and you can see here, mm. and you can also tap to zoom in and oh, look good. around. But of course, it's not ideal for this sort of thing. You'd like to go into yeah, yeah. landscape mode, and um, then you can just see. Follow along on the go. If uh, when you have meetings, just follow what's going on. I'm making presentations. I can see the participants slides. down in the bottom right-hand corner too. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, and you can see who the participants are. You so can is see that, that is that well. like Active Speaker, where it's only going to show five um, in the bottom right-hand corner, and then it'll swap around? Yes. So in, right now in this meeting, it's only got Amai and me, so you can yes. see both of us. But otherwise, you'll basically see the people that are talking out here, right. and you'll have an indicator to say who's the one who's talking right Good. now. Good. Right. Um, all right, and you can obviously unmute and join ad video and all of those things and switch mm. to Bluetooth headsets and all of those but, things. But already about equivalent with um, the Skype meeting experience on a mobile app. Yes. Yeah. So let's get out of the meeting um, right now and go back to the rest of the app. One of the other things that uh, do you want to see some show something else? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah. yeah. So one thing you can do also is that uh, you can open the meeting, uh, go to meeting details there, and then if you expand it there, like you can see that the meeting has a phone number associated with that. So right. if, if you're on the road and want to just dial into a meeting, yes. you can just hit that phone number. So if you just hit that phone number for me, then it's going to dial into the meeting and say call, and then you'll be dialed in via the dialer into the meeting mm. and can listen in. So it's like a one-touch way to join a meeting. Right, and that's, so that's helping them. Um, if someone doesn't have great bandwidth, they might be traveling between yep. um, cities, yeah. uh, that they could just at least get the audio part of the call. Yeah, that's yep. right. Directly from the Teams app. Uh, yeah, Teams app or from Mobile Outlook, you can just tap the link and join the meeting at one touch. And this is what we call the audio conferencing. Mm. And it's in preview uh, at Ignite now. Right. And the cool thing about this is you don't have to mess around with conference codes and things like that. It's all part of the number. Like Amai said, it's just one tap. Yeah. And uh, pause now. Now into through. the into the access code. Yep. It's all there. Yep. So now I can hear them. So that's the one tap audio conferencing. Yeah. So let me get out of there. Thank you, Amai, for reminding me of that. That's a cool demo scenario on mobile. See, look, even within the team's team, they, they are um, you know, always trying to keep aware of, what have you made this week? Oh, I've made this this week. Oh, well, we, better, we better show that. Amai is our meetings PM, and he's, on top. he's been pushing us on mobile to uh, make all of these cool features, and we finally caught up there. Um, what else? Um, we can also show you how channels work. So I'm actually going to show you one of our channels. Mm -hmm. um, so I work on mobile, so we have a bunch of feedback and bugs. So you've got tabs here and you've got files there. So let's go to the iOS channel and look at the tabs. So we've got a bunch oh, of different tabs here. If you have OneNote, 
you can go and deep link right into the OneNote app and it'll open the OneNote, it'll sync your notebook and open that. If you've already opened it once, then it'll be in sync. So that'll just work. This is taking some time to sync because the Wi-Fi here is not the best. Yeah, and why, while it's doing that, I know that um, the experience on a mobile is if it's um, you're clicking into an app or a document, it will open up the, the companion app on the, the phone itself. So yes. if you have OneNote installed, uh -huh. is it going to open up the OneNote yes. app on the machine? Yeah. Yes. And I've, I have experienced that. It, is, it works great. Yep. Yeah. And if you, if you don't have OneNote installed, then it'll open up the browser. Oh, so really? you'll be able to okay. preview the notebook without like if you're on the go and you don't have a lot of like Bandwidth. you don't have Wi-Fi yeah you can just go and preview what you want to see you don't have to install a application from the store and you right. don't be blocked on that and similarly that happens for PowerPoint and uh, other documents as well yeah let me see if I'll open up any PowerPoints here for example uh, this is an Excel sheet and you get a quick preview I don't have Excel uh, installed Okay. Uh, but you get a preview. If this Wi-Fi was some a little better, of course, yeah. it would have loaded faster. But I, I, uh, I think I've seen that. You've seen that, right? Well, I've seen it actually done with Power BI. So while that's still loading, uh -huh. um, I, I uh, was talking with John White. He opened up a tab where he had some Power BI um, added as a as a. Uh, mm -hmm not a channel, but inner channel, uh -huh. and it rendered the whole Power BI site uh -huh. uh, for that dashboard. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So it does that, and uh, for example, this is a website that we've linked as a tab, Right. and it'll, when you click on that on your mobile phone, you can go in, so this is a Visual Studio uh, query mm -hmm. for all our work items, and it just goes into that and loads that. Wi-Fi is, yeah, again, making, yeah. is really slow. Um, so yeah, and you can see all of your channels, the ones that are bold are um, are basically channels that yes, yeah. uh, have new content, going, exactly. Huh? Now here, for example, there's a Ignite hey. conversation, I'm going to yeah. show you how easy it is to just quickly go and put a um, new post with full house at Dan. And Caruana's. Uh, onboarding yeah. session. <laughs> so since I'm on lo a low bandwidth um, yeah. network, I'm going to use medium. medium and for this. I can just go and put that yeah, up. I can also um, attach a Giphy. And this also needs internet connectivity, which yeah. seems to be a little slow, oh, but you can do all of that as well. You can upload files. Uh, you can see all the files that are uploaded here mm. in this tab. They there, up. Like when you go back to tabs there, are there any tabs that don't quite um, render in there yet? Or do all tabs work in the mobile? So one? currently, that's a good question. You see this one wiki that's slightly grayed out? Mm. Uh, that's one that doesn't, uh, is not supported on mobile yet. Uh, a lot of people have asked for that and we're actually working on that and in the next few weeks mm -hmm. uh, in this quarter we should be having at least read support for wiki on mobile yeah uh, so one of the other things that's coming up soon is guest access and as you can see to accommodate the call tab, we've moved more up on top and uh, you can see these are the oh, list yes. of all yeah, the right. guest accounts that I'm a part of. Mm -hmm. Right now, the connectivity is a little bad, so it probably won't yeah, don't, switch. Yeah, don't click into it. But no. it's as simple as just tapping on one of these and it switches to that. Yeah. And uh, then you'll be able to see your guest account right here. Excellent. Yeah. So that's not yet shipped on iOS. On Android, it's going to ship this week. On iOS, we're working through uh, one or two authentication uh, issues and uh, we hope to ship in the coming weeks. Brilliant. Brilliant. So that's a rundown of all the new features that yeah. we've added. Well, recently. okay, one other thing. Just go back into activity. Uh huh. Yeah, so uh, one of the things about be belonging to a team, and you're obviously using Teams uh -huh. to, to communicate as a team, um, can you give us any tips about how to catch up with conversations when you haven't looked at Teams for a while and you uh -huh. come back and, like, I need to catch up with all my messages yep. and things that are important to me. So how would you do that from a mobile? So what I like using is the red unread feature. Right. So if I need to get back to something, so usually if I've, if I've come after a while, if I'm catching up after a day, I have a lot of unread things. So then I quickly triage them and things that I need to follow up on mm -hmm. later, I just mark them as unread. So I know I need to go back and uh, look at them. Another thing that you can do 
to do that is you can actually save items. Oh, right. So yes. if you save it, uh, you'll see this little pink little bookmark, uh, bookmark yeah. there. And you can go and access all of your saved items here. So then you know that uh, you can always come back to them. Mm. So there you can see uh, your saved items and you can always come back to them and uh, triage them or do what was needed there. Right. So that's another way to quickly... So if I uh, um, draw a... Co uh comparison between going into an inbox for Outlook, um, uh -huh. or maybe I've had a pile of messages, 50 messages Correct. that have come in, and I've had meetings all day, mm -hmm. um, and this is similar, you're going to the um, activity tab, mm -hmm. and or rather, is it a tab, sorry, what do you call these things down the bottom? So, um, they're not tabs. <laughs> they're tabs in the traditional sense, uh, yes. in terms of the design, Yeah. Uh, so you can call them tabs, you can also call them uh, apps, so it's the activity sure. app within team, the chat app, the teams app, the meetings app, oh, the calls okay. app, okay. So, so, so it could um, be either of those. So I've had a busy day and there's 50 messages there uh -huh. um, that I can go through. And I'm just going to... So another quick way... Filters? Is filters. Right. So, uh, so the most, typically the most important um, notifications for me are the mentions. Yes. So I can just quickly filter and look at all my mentions. The other filter so that you, I really you, like, you would have a culture within your group that everyone knows, if you want to get hold of me, at mention me. Yes. Otherwise, it's just there for informational. Yes. Yeah. So at mentions, whenever you want some, to get someone's attention, mm. urgently, you at mention them in, in general. And then uh, the other thing that's really important is unread. Mm. So for me, these are my two ways to triage this list quickly. So I look at my unread items and my at mentions. Uh, sometimes, so the other in cool feature is following. You can follow certain channels where, like you said, uh, typically people at mention you only if you're needed for that. But mm. if you, there are certain channels, for example, for me, mobile clients, since I own mobile clients, there's a channel where I want to keep on top of any activity. If anyone posts there, even if I'm not at mention, so that I want would to mean get a that notification. You have, you have favorited and followed that channel. Yes, yes. Yeah. I'll, I'll show you how to follow a channel. Yeah, sure. Uh, but yeah, so here I can see updates from all the channels that I'm following. So these filters are a really quick way of being able to mm. uh, triage your work. So let me show you how to follow a channel. So this is the mobile clients channel. Here you see this icon. Yes. And here I can unfollow it because I'm already following it. But if I want to follow another channel, say for example the iOS channel, I say this, I say follow channel, and now I'm following the channel and any post that comes to the iOS channel will show up in my activity in feed. In your activity feed and following. Yes. Yeah. So And it'll show up in general here. Oh um, right, so if you don't turn your filter on, yeah. it's just going to be there as one big It's just going to be there, exactly. So it's going to show up. So for example this one, this mm. item, nobody mentioned me but it showed up and you see the icon there, that's a follow Shows icon. that you followed. Yeah. That's good. This is a like icon, this shows that somebody liked my message. Uh -huh. This is a reply icon, which means that somebody replied to a message that, uh, one of my messages, that's why it's showing up here. Right. That's how the activity feed works. So if you just go back into the filter area, just into the check filter the area. filters. So I know you, you'll click on any of those and say, right, I want to see my at mentions, I want to see my replies. Mm -hmm. um, has there been any requests to say, I, I want to see three of those, but not those two? So uh, we haven't really seen a lot of requests. We anticipated that power users might start doing that. Mm. But as of now, at least based on the conversations I've had with a few customers, they love at mentions and unread. That's yeah. why those are the top yeah. two. Yeah, excellent. And um, uh, there's definitely, we thought about having the ability to have multiple filters and you can customize it so that you just tap that button and then you'll mm. see those filters. Mm. Uh, but that's a power user feature that not that many users will use, so we haven't gotten to that yet. Cool. Uh, so I showed you follow. Was there anything else that you wanted to see? No, no, I think that's great. Um, thank you very much, Pratik. It's been a, a quite a thorough look at the, the mobile app and um, something of what's coming. Cool. Um, thanks again. Thank you.